Welcome to Judgmental. How good a judge of character are you? When you meet a stranger for the first time, do you jump to conclusions about their personality? What about their general knowledge? Well, I'm joined today by three people whose judgment and intuition could win them up to £2,000. So, let's meet them. I'm Mark, and I'm a cabin crew trainer from Somerset. I'm Gilda, a teacher from London. I'm Tom, I'm a sales manager from the Wirral. Hello to all of you and welcome back, Tom. You were our most successful workforce member on The Last Judgmental. Now, you're about to be introduced to four complete strangers. Over the course of the show, you will get to learn more about them. But first, you're going to have to make some snap judgments. The people you're about to meet are going to reveal some basic facts about themselves and you won't have much to go on. Using this information, you will have to judge how long it will take each of them to answer four general knowledge questions correctly. Now, the questions are based on the subjects we all should have learnt at school. So, let's meet the first person. I'm a secretary, I'm 32 years old and I'm from Warwickshire. Have a good look at her, see what you can gauge, if anything at all. To the second, can you judge how long it is going to take our secretary from Warwickshire to answer four questions correctly? Now think carefully, because remember that the player with the worst error of judgement at the end of this round will be eliminated. So, make your snap judgments now. So, Mark, you have judged... 36 seconds, why is that? Well, I think working as a secretary, she's going to have to be good under pressure, in a busy office, lots of things happening, so I think she'll answer them reasonably quickly. We shall have to see if you're right or not. Gilda, you have judged 40 seconds, a little more, why is that? Um, I think she's going to do well on this round because she looks composed. She looks composed. She looks composed, she's really going to get the answers from inside out. All right, Tom, you have judged 38 seconds, why have you decided that? I think a secretary has to be fairly disciplined in the job with the filing. I think that that's the way she'll answer the questions in a disciplined manner. Mm. And I'm hedging my bets, really, at 38. All right. Well, let's see if you're right or not. Secretary, your pressure's on now. Here come the questions. Start the clock now. The word equine refers to which animal? Fish. No, nope. horse. In maths, what is two squared? Four. Correct. In the abbreviation AWOL, what does the A stand for? Don't know. Sorry. Absent. On which UK island are the towns of Newport and Ventnor? Gwent? No, nope, Isle of Wight. How do you spell psychic? Sorry, pass. P S Y C H I C. What is the English translation of the Latin number novem? Can you repeat the question again? Please? What is the English translation of the Latin number novem? Ninety? No, nine is the correct answer. An amalgam is a kind of alloy that must contain which element? Copper? No, mercury. Which British Prime Minister delivered the peace in our time speech following the 1938 Munich Pact? And the answer is Neville Chamberlain, but time is up. You have flunked. You have failed to answer four questions in under 60 seconds. Let's see how well you judged her or not. Mark, you judged 36 seconds, which means your error of judgment is 24. Gilda, you judged 40 seconds, which means your error of judgment is 20. And Tom, you judged 38 seconds, which means your error of judgment is 22. Mark? I thought she was going to be good under pressure. I'm not sure what kind of secretary she is. You may never find out. No. That's the whole point. Anyway, well, let's meet the second member of the workforce. I'm a picture editor, I'm 31 and from Kent. See what you can make of him, take a good look. And to the second, can you judge how long it is going to take the picture editor to answer four questions correctly? So make your snap judgments now. So let's see how you have judged the picture editor. Mark, you have judged 38 seconds, why? I've gone for 38, a picture editor, you know, he's going to be looking at pictures all the time. He's going to have to be reasonably knowledgeable so that he knows what he's looking at. He does look like quite a knowledgeable sort of chap. Why does he look like a knowledgeable kind of chap? Uh, it just has that air of intelligence about him. You look at him and you can see the lights are on and there's somebody home. Gilda, what about you? You've judged 45 seconds. You don't think he's quite as intelligent as Mark does? Um, uh, no, I think he, he knows the answers but may take longer to get there. Why is that? Um, the way he delivered 
who he was was rather slower in speech. That's from what there. you're judging on, right? Yeah. Tom, you have judged 32 seconds. Yes, I think he looks uh, quite an intelligent fella. I think that the nature of his job demands for some element of speed, and I think that he'll go for it in this round. We're about to find out. Picture editor, here come the questions. Start the clock now. Which major river flows through the city of Nottingham? Trent. Correct. Which Jane Austen novel features the major character, Mr. Darcy? A Pride and Prejudice. Correct. In maths, what is 11 times 10? 110. Correct. According to the saying, what can't you teach an old dog? New tricks. Correct. Stop the clock. Oh, easily polished off there in 16 seconds. Well done. Let's see how you have judged him. Mark, you judged 38 seconds, which means your error of judgment is 22. Gilda, you were way out there. 45 <laughs> seconds is what you judged, so your error of judgment is 29. And Tom, you judged 32, so your error of judgment is 16. Gilda, he foxed you, didn't he? Oh, absolutely. What can I say? Absolutely. All right, well, let's meet the third member of the workforce. I'm a shop assistant, 36, from Bedfordshire. What do you make of her? Take a good look. To the second, can you judge how long it is going to take her to answer four questions correctly? Make your snap judgments now. So, let's see how you have judged our shop assistant. Mark, you have judged 42 seconds. That's pretty high for you. What's wrong with our shop assistant, then? She looks very serious, as if she might, might not be able to handle pressure very well. It could be completely the other way around, though. It could be. It could be just like a facade, like uh, maybe she's just got a face of stone. That's what it is. So, a face of stone, you think she's not going to be answering these? She'll answer them, but not too fast. She'll take her time, she'll think about it, she'll be measured, and then get it wrong, I think. Oh, really? <laughs> right. She's not going to thank you for that, is she? <laughs> Gilda, you have judged 40 seconds, almost the same way. Um, I think I agree with Mark, but she looks uh, tense and nervous. We don't know if that's going to uh, affect her performance, so that's why I've gone for 40. Tom, you have judged... 35 seconds, a little lower, why? I think she'll do better than that. I think that, again, being a shop assistant, she has to use tills, machinery, she has to deal with people, she has to deal with situations, and I think she'll deal with this situation. All right, well, let's see which one of you is right, shop assistant. Here come the questions. Start the clock now. Which King of England was executed in 1649 during the English Civil War? William. No, Charles I. Which figure of speech compares one thing with another, such as, he was as brave as a lion? Cinnamon. No, a simile. Which range of hills is known as the backbone of England? Cheviots. No, the Pennines. Which British author wrote Lady Chatterley's Lover? Don't know. D.H. Lawrence is the answer. How many faces has a cube? Six. Correct. How do you spell receive? R-E-C-E-I-V-E. -E. Correct. What is a male duck called? Mallard. No, a drake. Drake. What is the Italian word for house? Casa. Correct. Which chemical compounds neutralise acids? Alkalines. Correct. Stop the clock. 45 seconds. She did it, though. Let's see how well you judged her. Mark, you judged 42, which means your error of judgement is just three. Gilda, you judged 40, which means your error of judgement is five. And Tom, you judged 35, which means your error of judgement is ten. So, let's see who is in the lead so far with the lowest error of judgement. And despite that last bad bit of judgement there, Tom, you are still in the lead with a total error of judgement of 48 seconds. So, let's meet the fourth member of the workforce. I'm a senior psychiatric nurse, I'm 28 and I'm from Worcestershire. Let's see what you can make of him. Can you judge how long it is going to take him to answer four questions correctly? So, make your snap judgements now. So let's see how you've judged our senior psychiatric nurse. You have judged Mark 38 seconds. Why is that? I've seen some people answer very quickly today and some people answer more slowly. And the psychiatric nurse, I think, he looks like he, he's going to come in the middle of those. He's not too intelligent. How can you tell he's not too intelligent? Uh, I always think if you look at people's eyes, then uh, you can see what's going on behind there. And I think there's just slightly less happening. Well... We'll see if he proves you wrong or not. Gilda, you have judged 35 seconds, a little faster. Why? 
because his job as a psychiatric nurse would require quick responses. So you think there's quite a lot going on behind yeah, those eyes? Yeah, I do, I do. We'll see if you're right or wrong. Tom, you have judged. 30 seconds, the fastest of the lot. Why? Because I think he looks intelligent. I think that his job demands intelligence and looking at him, being judgmental, I think he is. I think he's intelligent. Let's see how the psychiatric nurse does under all this pressure. Psychiatric nurse, here come the questions. Start the clock now. Which worldwide conflict was fought between the years of 1914 and 1918? World War One. Correct. An elver is the young of which creature? Eel. Correct. Along the south coast of England, which county lies between Devon and Hampshire? Dorset. Correct. According to the proverb, what does familiarity breed? Contempt. Correct. Stop the clock. <laughs> 19 seconds. Well done. <laughs> Let's see how they judged you. Psychiatric nurse, Mark, you judged 38 seconds, which means your error of judgment is 19. A little more, perhaps, going on behind the eyes than you thought. Gilda, you judged 35 seconds, which means your error of judgment is 16. And Tom, you were the closest. You judged 30 seconds, which means your error of judgment is 11. So, Mark, are you going to revise the way you uh, judge intelligence? I think so, yeah. I'm going to have to. I thought he'd take twice as long as he actually did. Yes, yeah. indeed. So, how has that affected your overall scores? Because we now have to lose the player with the greatest error of judgment. And with a total of 70, Gilda, I'm Sorry. afraid that is you. But thank you very much for playing. Thank you. Ultimately, I'm afraid your judgment has let you down. So, Mark and Tom... Up till now, you have made snap judgments about other people's general knowledge, but you haven't put your own to the test. So let's see how you two do in the next round, Judge Match. So, Mark and Tom, how will your judgment be affected if the workforce reveal a little bit more about themselves? Each person is going to tell you three facts. Listen very carefully. This information could be crucial in helping you to win and, more importantly, stopping your opponent from winning. So, Workforce, what are the three facts you want to reveal about yourselves? I enjoy watching football, I'm a huge Madonna fan, and I'm currently improving my computer skills. I have a collection of over 1,500 films, a big interest in photography, and read the daily tabloids. I'm a dog lover, especially Staffordshire Bull Terriers. I enjoy quizzes and reading Jackie Collins. I really enjoy adrenaline-inducing outdoor pursuits, I love foreign travel and I have a special interest in the natural world. Well, there you go. You know a little bit more about our workforce. Not that much more, though. Is it going to help you in your judgement? Have a look now at today's subjects. They are the 80s, motorsport, European landmarks, Michael Jackson, space exploration and TV cops. Now, Tom, as you had the smallest error of judgment in the last round, you get to choose first. So, which subject do you want to go for? The 80s. The 80s. Now, Mark, who is the right person to go up against Tom on the subject of the 80s and stop him from answering? I think the psychiatric nurse looking at him uh, is probably about the right age to sort of realistically remember the 80s. Uh, and I think he, he looks as if he would have quite a, an interest in pop culture as well. So, I think he would be the best person. I'm going to go for him. We'll find out whether or not you're right or wrong. Now, don't forget, Workforce, it is in your interest to keep answering questions correctly. You don't get points, but we are monitoring your performance, and the better you do, the greater chance you will have of returning on the next show as a player. So, psychiatric nurse and Tom, let's play Judge Match. Tom, you have chosen the subject, the 80s. You have 45 seconds on the clock to answer as many questions as you can. And that time starts now. In the 1980s, what nickname was given to young, upwardly mobile professionals? Nurse. Yuppies. Correct. The Westland Affair saw the 1986 resignation of Leon Britton. Tom? Michael Heseltine. Correct. In which BBC series did the character Baldrick first appear in 1983, Nurse? Blackadder. Correct. In 1989, Nicolae Ceausescu was deposed as dictator of which country, Tom? Romania. Correct. Appearing approximately every 75 years, which comet was last visible in 1986, Tom? Halley's. Correct. Which digital format for listening to music was introduced to the UK market in 1983? Nurse. Compact disc. Correct. In July 1982, who awoke to find intruder Michael Fagan in her bedroom? Nurse. The Queen. Correct. And time is up. Thank you for playing. So, Tom, three correct answers. 
Yeah, it's not as good as I thought I would do. Bit disappointed? Yeah, a bit. You shouldn't be disappointed, Mark. Our psychiatric nurse there, despite your earlier judgments <laughs> of him, blocked four times. He did, yeah, he did me proud. Very good. You're warming to the psychiatric nurse, aren't I am, you? definitely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, Mark, let's find out how you do now, because it is your turn to choose. There are five subjects left. Which one do you want to go for? I think I will go for Michael Jackson, please. Tom, who is the best match, in your judgment, who is the right person to go up against Mark on one of his favourite subjects, Michael Jackson, and block him from winning? I think the secretary. Really? Why? Yeah, because she's indicated that she's a great fan of Madonna, so she must track or follow the pop scene. So I think she's got more credentials than what I've heard of the other people to block. Right. Well, let's find out. Secretary and Mark, let's play Judge Match. Michael Jackson is the subject. 45 seconds on the clock. As many questions as you can answer correctly. The questions start now. Released in 1982, which of Michael's records became the biggest selling album of all time, Mark? Thriller. Correct. In 1978, Michael starred alongside Diana Ross in the film musical Secretary. Wizard of Oz. Correct. On the 1982 release, The Girl Is Mine, Michael sang with which former Beatles secretary? Paul McCartney. Correct. Whom did Michael marry in 1994, Mark? Lisa Marie Presley. Correct. At the 1986 Brit Awards, which member of the band Pulp stormed, Mark? Jarvis Cocker. Correct. Released in 1979, what was the name of Michael Jackson's secretary? Off the wall. Correct. With which of his younger siblings did Michael duet, Mark? Janet. Correct. What is the name of the Californian ranch owned by Michael, secretary? Neverland. Correct. Which star of Home Alone is godfather to Michael Jackson's Mark? Macaulay Culkin. Correct. Uh, time is up. Thank you for playing. Mark, not bad. Five correct answers. Well done. Pleased with that? Uh, yeah, I was, actually. I was quite pleased, definitely. But, Tom, you shouldn't be uh, displeased because your secretary there did rather well. She did rather well, yes. She blocked four times. Very good. Very good and very unlucky on a few other occasions, too. Well, there you go. Good judgment on that occasion. Now, we're midway through judge match, and, Mark, as you are currently in the lead, you get to choose the next subject first. So which one is it going to be? Uh, of those, I think I will go for TV Cops, please. TV Cops. All right, Tom, who is the best match in your judgment? Who's the right person to go up against? Mark, on the subject of TV Cops. Um, the picture editor. Why? Um, because of his collection of films, etc. He must watch the media. I think he's more ably equipped. Right. Well, let's find out whether or not your judgment is correct. Picture editor and Mark, let's play Judge Match. TV Cops is the subject, 45 seconds on the clock. The clock starts now. In the police comedy series, The Thin Blue Line, who played Inspector? Mark. Rowan Atkinson. Correct. Which TV cop series starred John Thor and Dennis Waterman? Editor. Uh, Sweeney. Correct. Which TV police series, starting in 1962, featured the characters Mark? Dixon of Doc Green. No. Featured the characters Burt Lynch and Fancy Smith? Editor. Zed Cars. Correct. Who played Lieutenant Columbo? Editor. Peter, Peter Falk. Correct. What was the name of Starsky and Hutch's informant, played by... Uh, editor? Huggy Bear. Correct. Which TV policeman's catchphrase was evening all? Mark? Dixon of Doc Green. Correct. Which series, beginning in 1981 and starring John Nettles, was set on Jersey Editor? Uh, Bergerac. Correct. TV policewoman Jean Darbley and Kate Longton, both which, Buck? Juliet Bravo. Correct. I can give you that. It was just within time, but time is now up. Thank you for playing. Mark. Three correct answers. I was a bit disappointed with that. The picture editor was very fast, very was, fast indeed. He certainly was. Good judgment there, Tommy. Blocked five times. Yes, he, uh, he did me proud there. I'm very pleased. He quite clearly doesn't just watch films, does no, he? No, obviously <laughs> not. <laughs> Watches an awful lot of television, full stop. All right, now, Tom, it is your turn to choose. Which subject do you want to go for? Um, I think I'll go for motorsport. Motorsport? You're a big motorsport fan? I watch it and wouldn't say I'm a big fan. Mark, in your judgment, who is the best person to go up against Tom on the subject of motorsport? Having been on the receiving end of the speed of the picture editor, I think I'm going to have to go with him. Really? Definitely. I'm sure that in the pictures that he edits, he must see the occasional racing car. <laughs>
We don't know, but we're about to find out. <laughs> Picture editor again, and Tom, let's play Judge Match. Now, Tom, before we start, you need to get six correct answers in order to beat Mark and go through to the final. The subject you've chosen, motorsport, you have 45 seconds, and that time starts now. Which term, meaning great prize, describes any motor race, Tom? Grand Prix. Correct. Which Scottish driver became Britain's first world, Tom? Jackie Stewart. No. Editor? Colin McRae. Correct. Which famous cross-country rally across Europe and Africa was first raced in 1978, Tom? Paris, Dubai. No. Editor? Dakar. Correct. What is the name of the lane in which repairs can take place whilst a race to editor? Pit lane. Correct. Which British driver came second to Michael Schumacher in the 2001 World Drivers, Tom? Damon Hill. No. Editor? David Coulthard. Correct. Which European principality has hosted a rally since 1911, Tom? Monaco. Correct. What name is given to the position from which the fastest car in qualifying, Tom? Pole. Correct. Which British rider won the World Superbike Championship four times in the 1990s? The answer, Carl Fogarty, but time is up. Thank you for playing. Tom, three correct answers. Not good enough. Not good enough. Not bad. Not bad. But uh, close, but no cigar. Close, but no cigar. That's definitely true. And uh, Mark, your judgment. He blocked four times. Good, good going picture editor. He's going to be a scary opponent in the next round, definitely. He certainly is, because the next round, of course, is the final. And at the end of judge match, we have to lose the player with the lowest score. And with a total of six, Tom, I'm afraid that is you. But thank you very much for playing. I'm afraid on this occasion, your judgment has let you down. Thank you. Well done, Mark. You have made it through to the final. Now, this is how it works. If you can beat all four members of the workforce within 90 seconds, you will win £2,000. You'll need to answer four questions correctly against your first opponent, three correctly against your second, two against your third, and just one against your final opponent. But this is where your judgment comes in, because it's up to you to decide in which order you want to take the workforce on. So, which order is it going to be? Right, I think uh, she hasn't been tested that much so far, um, and she was a little bit hesitant earlier on, so I'll go for the shop assistant first of all, please. OK, and the rest? Uh, after that, I'll go for the secretary. She was quite fast when I played her. Psychiatric nurse. I'd uh, like to answer two questions. And finally, Speedy Gonzalez, picture editor. <laughs> I'll uh, go for just answering one question, if I'm lucky. All right. Well, let's see how your decision pays off, because it is time to put your judgment on the line. Right, Mark, here is your lineup. Now, as you can see, each member of the workforce is worth a different amount of money. The more of them you take on, the more money you will win. So, you're taking on the shop assistant first of all. Answer four questions correctly against her, and you will win £250. 90 seconds on the clock, and here come the questions. Start the clock now. Collectively, to which group of islands do Jersey, Guernsey, and Alderney belong, Mark? UK. No. Oh. Shop assistant. Correct. Channel Islands is the answer. According to John Gray's best-selling book, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Mark? Venus. Correct. Which word is the American equivalent of the British word petrol? <laughs> assistant. Oh, God. It's gone. Mark? Gas. Correct. Which British artist is famous for his paintings of matchstick figures in industrial scenes, Mark? Ellis Lowry. Correct. What is the name of Mark Hamill's character from the original, Mark? Luke Skywalker. Correct. Stop the clock. Well done. You have answered four questions correctly and you have won £250. So, it's judgment time. Now, you have 58 seconds left on the clock. If you take on the secretary and answer three questions correctly against her, you could increase your prize to £500. But I must warn you that if your time runs out, you will go back to nothing. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to play, please. You're going to play? Yeah. Right. Well, let's find out how you do against the secretary. Three correct answers and £500 is yours. Start the clock now. What colour seats did the MPs sit on in the House of Commons, Mark? Green. Correct. Which bear species is the largest living land carnivore, Mark? Grizzly. No. Secretary? Um, polar. Correct. Which singer was known in the 1960s as Rod the Mod? Secretary? Rod Stewart. Correct. Which author created the best-selling Discworld series of novels, Mark? Terry Pratchett. Correct. Which British politician was forced to resign in 1963 over his affair, Secretary? Perfumer. Correct. Which popular Irish novelist wrote Light a Penny Candle? 
Mark. George Orwell. No, Secretary. Sorry. May Finchie is the answer. In which European mountain range is the Matterhorn found? Mark. Alps. Correct. Stop the clock. Well done. You've answered three questions correctly and you have won yourself £500. But it's judgment time again because you have 20 seconds left on the clock. Now, if you take on the psychiatric nurse and answer two questions correctly against him, you could increase your prize to £1,000. But if your time runs out, your winnings go back to £250. Now, bit of a gamble. What are you going to do? 20 seconds. I'm going to go for it. You're going to go for it? Yes, please. You brave man. Are you sure about this? No, but I'll do it. <laughs> Good for you. All right. Well, let's find out whether you can do it or not. Two correct answers against the psychiatric nurse on £1,000 is yours. Start the clock now. Which British author created the characters Mrs Tittlemouse and Jemima Puddle, that mark? Beatrix Potter. Correct. What is the name of the policeman in the TV, children's TV series Noddy? Mark. Mr Plod. PC correct. Plod. Stop the clock. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> You have two correct answers there, so you've won yourself £1,000. Now, you have 11 seconds left. If you take on Speedy Gonzalez, as you call him, <laughs> the final member of the workforce, our picture editor over there, and answer one question correctly against him, you get £2,000. But if the time runs out, your winnings slip back to £500. What are you going to do? My wife's going to kill me for this. I'm going to go for it. 11 seconds, yeah. <laughs> Oof, right. Your wife will be keeping her fingers crossed on this one. Answer one question correctly against the picture editor and £2,000 is yours. Start the clock now. In the 1941 film Citizen Kane, what was Rosebud? Picture editor? It's a car. No, Mark. A dog? No, a sledge is the answer. What name is given to food prepared according to Jewish law? Mark. Kosher. Correct. Yes. Stop the clock. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Your, your wife is not going to kill you now, is she? Oh, very close. I had no. no idea how long I had left. You had two seconds <laughs> left on the clock, but you won yourself £2,000. Well done. You Fantastic. beat Speedy Gonzalez, as you called him <laughs> over there. Thank you very much for playing judgmental. Thank you. And Workforce, thank you for allowing yourselves to be judged. Our computer has been monitoring your performance. Statistically, the most successful member of the Workforce was... Speedy Gonzalez, the picture editor. What is your real name? My name's Paul. Paul, well, congratulations. You're going to be joining us on the other side in the next show as a player. So see you then. That's it. Thank you for watching Judgmental.